Hello everyone, this is MS Gill, and today I'm going to teach you how to install Windows ME in VirtualBox. So what you want to do first is of course download VirtualBox, and I go to the VirtualBox older builds, not just because I have an older PC, but just because they're a lot more stable. I do 4.3.28, which is under there. Then of course you want to download the Windows ME ISO, which is right here. I also have a product key in the description and a download link in the description for that. You also want MS-DOS 6.22, which I also included in the description. Alrighty, so I already have this running. I have installed MS-DOS 6.22. What you want to do is go into the settings and insert it into the virtual floppy disk drive. And that's all pretty straightforward from there. So now we're at the point where you want to install the CD-ROM driver. So you want to place that in there, which is in with the virtual uh, floppy disk for MS-DOS. So you click A, and then setup.bat. Should do that, and then you want to press control delete or whatever your host key is, plus delete, and it will restart the virtual machine. You can always X out and restart. And something that I forgot, but it's not crucial, is remove the virtual floppy disk. And then once that's done, go ahead and insert your Windows ME ISO wherever you saved it. Press D and then colon and then type in setup. It will load. Click enter. And it's going to do a quick system check. Now it's just going to load Windows setup. Shouldn't take too long because that is wrong depending on your machine. I gave mine 512 megabits, megabytes of RAM, excuse me, and I gave it 4 gigabytes of hard disk, hard disk space, and uh, so that's what I did for my machine. You can give it whatever you want. I think the max it can hold is like 4 gigs of RAM because it's a 32-bit machine, but that's okay. So it's going to load this. And yes, I do use Internet Explorer sometimes. I know. Terrible. <laughs> oh well, it works for now. So it's going to finish doing this. And then it's just going to bring up this dialog box. I want to click Next. I accept. I click Next. Now you're going to type in the product key, which I will, like I said, is in the description. But I will pause the video and come right back. Okay, so now that the product key is typed in, you want to click Next. Now it's going to check for the installed components. Could take a little bit depending on your machine, but nonetheless, I will be right back for that one too. Okay, that was actually quicker than I expected, but that's okay. It's just going to do the da available disk space thing. Since mine is 4 gigs, it shouldn't take too long. But if this is like an actual machine, it would take a little bit longer. But it should go pretty quick, like as you can see. All right, so we're here now, and I choose typical. You can choose custom, compact, or portable, whichever one you want. I'm going to type in my name, MS Gill. All righty. I'm not really part of a company that I know of. <laughs> now I'm going to choose next. You can choose a uh, list of components, whichever one you want. That looks alright to me. Click next. Next, because I'm in the United States. I want Pacific time, so I click next. Now it's going to create a startup disk, but at this point, when the little dialog box comes up, you want to click cancel because we don't want a startup disk. And click OK. Now it's going to do the copying of the Windows files. This is the bulk of the setup, so I will let that run, and I will be right back. Okay, so now it's at 100%, so our next step should be coming right up. It should be a computer restart, if my memory is correct. Should come up any second now. Any second. There we go. Now it says please remove any disks from the virtual drives. Well, it just says drives, but they're virtual drives for 
us. And you click OK. Now you can click Restart Now or you can let the time run out. I prefer to click Restart Now. And uh, yeah, so it's going to do the, uh, the next loading sequence and it's going to bring us back to setup. Now, if it gets to this point and that closes out of the machine and says aborted, it's perfectly normal. It happens to me pretty much every time I do this setup. Nothing will happen. It's just doing its thing. So I'll show you because it looks like it's probably going to do it right now. So, yeah. Okay, so it looks like it actually did abort. Like I said, it was going to. As you can see, this is aborted. Just click start. Should work here any second. That's different. Okay. Alrighty. So it should be coming up any second now. Any second, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, but oh well, it's all behind us now. <laughs> Just VirtualBox being cranky, I suppose. See, there we go. Windows ME, that very lovely sp splash screen. Always gotta like the colors blue and green, as you can tell in my logo. <laughs> but yeah, this very, very lovely splash screen. Bleh. <laughs> English is not my major language, apparently. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's done loading that. So it's going to do the system files. Alright, so we're back to this screen. More setting up hardware. Now, this is going to take a little while. This actually might be more accurate now. You know, 18 minutes or so. So, I will let this do its thing, and I will be back once it's done. So I forgot, but this screen will come up. It's still the same thing that it's been doing. It's still doing the plug-and-play devices, but I forgot that this progress bar comes up after a little while. And uh, nothing real special about it. I just forgot it happened. I just thought I'd show you. So, yeah, I'll be right back. So once that is complete, it's going to just bring you to this little thing. And uh, it's going to do setting up the plug-and-play devices now. Not checking for them, but... One, as always, I will be right back. Okay, so we have reached another restart point. That didn't really take too long, but I will click restart now. And we will continue on our way. I really like this background there. But now we have mouse support. So now you can move your mouse freely without the host key. So it's going to do this, continue the setup. Continuing to load Windows, as it says. So we get another blue screen. Luckily, it's not the blue screen of death, because that would always be a bad thing. But so we're going to finish up the hardware settings and settings in general. <laughs> and like I said, that 10 minutes might actually be more accurate now, as you can tell. So, it's just going to keep doing this, as usual, and I will be right back. Okay, so once that's done, it's going to start doing the programs on the start menu and Windows Help and all that. It means you pretty much reached the final set of steps, because this doesn't take too long. This is the part that takes a little while. This is the system configuration. should take the complete 10 minutes, that says. So... I don't think you really want to sit through that, so I will be back. Okay, so just after it finishes, it's going to do another restart point. I will click restart now. And uh, it should restart. And there's that lovely splash screen again. Just going to quick do this again. This should be the final time you see this message, as far as I know. But I may be mistaken. 
There we go. Now we get a different background. Should continue setting up more stuff, but we should be on the final step of everything. Click OK. See, it's going to do more system setting updates. And, of course, that lovely drum animation. I will be right back. Okay, I think that's it. As far as I know. So, the next video that, I, that I'm probably going to do, if I can get it working, is Windows Whistler. Now, I would like somebody to tell me in the comments which version to do, because I'm not exactly sure. I'm thinking of doing, like, one of the middle builds, but we'll see if I can get that working, like I said, because you have to adjust the BIOS date and stuff, and you can't really do that in VirtualBox. So, yeah, that's what uh, the plan is. <laughs> and, of course, I read every single YouTube comment there I, I have received, so... I should reply to yours if you ask a question, so go ahead and ask any questions that you have and or anything that goes wrong during the setup. I will be happy to see what I can do about it. So, yeah. Looks like it's almost unloading. We will see. <laughs> yep, there we go. There's our nice gray background. Also coming in the future is a video on how to get 32-bit color in Windows ME, 98, and 95. So that should be coming in the near future. As for me, I am MS Gill. If you like this video and found it helpful, then uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. And subscribe if you're feeling generous, that is. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.